Starting to see some cloud cover move on in. In the high country, there's even a better chance for seeing thunderstorms. It is opening day of the summer season at Keystone. And their temperature this morning, 37 degrees. If you're going to head up there, the top of the mountain, you'll still find some snow. But with warm temperatures, including in the high country over the weekend, we're going to be melting a lot of snow. The snowpack continues to disappear. A record snowpack in many parts of the high country still for this time of year. And so those rivers running high and fast in the high country with so much snow melt. Temperatures right now around Denver, Boulder, and Fort Collins are in the 50s. Later on, we'll be close to 80. Yesterday, we hit 80 degrees. I'm not sure we'll quite get there today, but we'll be in the upper 70s, which is normal for this time of year. You can see the cloud cover moving in from the west. We have a big stretched out area of low pressure that we refer to as a trough sitting uh, from uh, western Montana down towards Salt Lake City. And as this thing slowly moves to the east today, it's going to produce some heavy rain that could cause flooding in some spots because the thunderstorms will be moving so slowly. So in some neighborhoods, there could be a prolonged period of rain. Look how quickly everything develops. Right now, there's nothing, but by noon, there'll be scattered showers and thunderstorms storms throughout the high country and then during the afternoon and evening hours everything will move to the east and again the main concern would be heavy rain and flooding but some spots could experience some large hail especially out on the eastern plains and because of the slow movement we'll likely still have storms on the plains by midnight tonight and then that system gets out of here high pressure builds in for the weekend so almost statewide will be dry tomorrow and Sunday there could be a pop-up thunderstorm in the mountains tomorrow's high 79 and then Sunday 86 which would tie for the warmest day so far this year